I feel like defeated. So today I have something that will make you judge me hardcore. But before you do, I have a lot of stuff to um, share with you guys. I'm gonna start with one sub. Keep the spare sandwich. One chip should be enough. So I know you're thinking, Fruity Beauty, you have high blood sugars. What are you doing? I don't want to share just the good times, Bismillah. I want to share when I'm struggling also. And clearly I'm struggling getting rid of food that's been comforting me for years. Mm. Health issues doesn't seem to be enough sometimes to keep me from eating bad things. You know, I'm going to the doctor after. and I need to get on medication, you know, like everyone was saying. So I'm not trolling with this video. I'm just actually being very transparent. I'm having trouble, like, being able to be consistent with eating super clean. I feel, like, starving and, like, not satisfied because that food, clean food, is obviously not, um, doesn't satisfy anything except for health, which is, it should be. So I need to learn how to cope, and I can't right now. Am I fine since having high blood sugar? I'm so ravenous all the time. My obsession with food has been going on since I'm a child. My grandfather on my dad's side was morbidly obese. He died of a stroke in his 70s. I was spoiled, so she would make me comforting meals and snacks. Okay, so this is the second sandwich. It's the meat feast with pickles, olive, uh, with pickles, black olives, lettuce, tomato, <clears throat> extra mayo, salt, pepper. Mm. That's so good. Mm. I feel like it's impossible to overcome. I feel like defeated. Deli meat, deli cheese, deli pickles. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna hide and pretend like um, I didn't eat this today. I want to be transparent when it comes with battling this. And just show that there's going to be a lot of times like this. It's the reality of it. I don't know how to stop wanting this food. Um, I'll have a vlog out maybe later letting you know how the doctor's visits go. I know this wasn't healthy. Trust me, I know. I don't need you to, to tell me. Welcome back to another video. So um, this video is going to be my experience at the uh, doctors. I'm going to have my blood work results in this video for you coming soon. So I'll tell you my experience um, in detail. I get to the counter and I tell the lady, you know, what I what I need to. I've said I'm very, I'm kind of dizzy because I was, and I've been testing my blood sugars and they've been really high. So she said, okay, well we have a. Um, doctor here who specializes in diabetes and things like that and it's the internal medicine doctor um, the doctor was really nice really really nice and he had a nurse there and they took my blood pressure now this is something I find a little unbelievable because my blood pressure has never been this low as like you know they took they use a really big cuff and the doctor took my blood pressure and it was like 110 over 82 um, I was like hey, what are you sure um, so I almost felt like asking if he could take it again because that's really strange. Now, maybe because I was fasting, I don't know. But 
he said that's normal. So he said that's good. I know you're going to be like, yeah, right. That was my reaction too. But who am I to argue with the doctor, right? Um, so then he wanted, uh, you know, talked a bit about my med- my background, my medical history, told him about my operations, about all this and that, like, you know, just really nice doctor, really not rushing, really um, seemed interested in talking to, you know, um, me about my history. Another thing I find that doctors tend to do more in a, in a private clinic, I don't know. But um, yeah, so talk to him for a bit then he ordered um some blood tests so so i will insert the blood work here the the um the results of the test and the re- that was requested and the results i'm going to blur out private information obviously but here you go Um, I also had to do a urine sample, like, you know, like pee in the little cup thing. You know, pancreas, liver, everything he said was fine. Um, but the A1C was 10, so I think 10.1, so that's pretty high. I have to get that down. So um, they did diagnose me with diabetes, like officially. And then there's this thing here. It's like MALB, M-A-L-B, which is something in the urine, apparently. The normal range is like 0 to 20. But mine was like 92. So this, he said, had to do with um, something being in the urine that has to do with eating way too much salt. So salt and certain foods. So um, immediately after that, he told me to eliminate certain foods. And you guys are going to be keto people are going to be keto lovers are not going to want to believe this. But this doctor told me to not eat any eggs, red meat, cut that out. Um, eat mostly fish, chicken, and vegetarian. Like, you know, uh, mostly vegetables, like this much. Like this much, he showed me with the hands, like this much vegetables on your plate, this much for your palm. So you do your this thing with your palm, it shows you how much rice you can eat. So this, plus a half of this. Um, so yeah, I can eat that much rice which I know you guys are going to be like, what? It raises your glycemic index. I guess mixing it with the the vegetables, which have a lot of fiber, kind of slow down the spike of sugar. I don't know. But what can I say? I went to a doctor and this is what he told me. Um, chicken, fish. He wants me to eat fish three times a week. Um, some chicken and vegetarian meals, like maybe beans, stuff like that. My kidneys were fine now, but this in your this in your urine can lead to kidney problems down the line from eating way too much sodium. So I asked him at first, like, what? How should I be eating? You know, for this because um, should I be eating keto, like very low carb? And he said no, like like really right away, like no, don't do keto. It's very unhealthy. And um, I was like, oh, okay. So yeah, he's like, you can eat carbs, but limit them and make them like healthy carbs, you know, like a whole grain. You can have one slice of whole grain toast a day kind of thing. After my blood tests and everything, he ordered a shot of insulin to try to bring the sugar down. And I went down to the nursing station and they picked my arm with an injection of insulin. I don't know how much, but I don't know. I don't think it worked because I took my blood in the evening. And the, I, I mean, I was like fasting for a few hours because I ate, I had some chicken and a few vegetables for for lunch at around 1.30. It was 2.39, like the same. Now insulin takes a while to, to work, right? I mean, it's not just one injection, I don't know. I have to go back on Monday for a follow-up and I have to record my blood sugars before I go. But he put me on like something that's like, sort of like metformin, but it's not. It's like a mix of diabetic drugs. But that's my experience with the healthcare in Kuwait. And this is definitely, was not fun. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I got asked if I was pregnant there. <laughs> and I was just like, I don't, I understand that because like women my age and typically with a large belly, they probably are mostly, most of the time pregnant here, but um, whatever, I didn't take offense to that. So I have to focus on my health journey. I feel, I think if I ate something really bad for me, I would feel so guilty and scared of what it's doing to my body now that I've seen the doctor because, you know, of the, the salt and the urine thing and more organ damage and my blood sugar, like they were like alarmed at my blood sugar level. <laughs> He's like, that's your blood sugar with fasting? 
And then I think of like the sub I ate with all the salty processed meat on it. Oh my gosh. I don't want to hear people like berating the doctor I saw because he's a doctor. You know, most people online are not. I don't know. I'm going to follow what this doctor says and that's it. So anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.